So uh, I wanted to play with my new uh, programmable load here, and I'm going to be using it to test this power supply. Now this power supply here, um, I don't remember if I did a video on this one or not, but it's a, uh, a HP 6384A, originally a 4 to 5.5 volt, 0 to 8 amps. And I, I didn't find that that uh, range uh, very useful in my lab. And so there was a whole series of these uh, power supplies in different voltages and stuff. So I've converted mine over to a, a, a 0 to 20 volt 4 amp. Now 0 to 20 volts only goes from 0 to 2. So it won't use the whole meter. It had the wrong meter and stuff. But it is... Uh, at least it, w it was usable as a 0 to 20 volt 4 amp, which in my lab now, this is kind of redundant. I'll probably give it away or something. Um, but uh, what I wanted to do today is see, I kind of guessed at that 4 amps, um, and I wanted to test it. So let's go ahead and turn on our dummy load. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on our uh, dummy load here, and we see here we're getting voltage out, and we can go all the way up to 25 volts, and uh, so we are going to, let's say, let's put out uh, 3 amps, and we'll turn that on, so now we're having 3 amps. And we can adjust it here for 19, 20 volt, 20, 20 volts. So 20 volts at 3 amps is working just fine. Uh, let's do a, a current of 4 amps. And 4 amps, uh, 19.8, drooped a little bit, but um, everything's working great at 4 amps, okay? Uh, so, is that really all we need to know, that it does output 4 amps? Mm. No, we need to see if that, uh, maybe we have some ripple on that, uh, on that. So I'm going to hook up a, uh, scope probe here. And we'll take a look at, we're now doing, uh, 4 amps. And you can see here that we've got uh, quite a bit of ripple. I'm an AC coupling, and so we have about 200 millivolts of ripple. Um, and let me reduce our current to uh, 3 amps. And our ripple went away. So let's do 3.5 amps. At 3.5 amps, we're starting to get a little bit of ripple again. Can I put this all on one camera? I sort of can, can't I? Yeah. Um, so 3.5 is no good. Uh, 3.4. And so can I use the wheel here? Yeah, I can use the wheel. So I'm going to rotate the wheel until my ripple sort of goes away. Right there. Well, let's go back this way. It's starting to ripple right about there. So I'm going to call it 3.1 amps. 3.1 amps is uh, where this power supply starts to give up the ghost, as they say. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. And at 3 amps, what's the maximum voltage I can get at? Oh, no. You can see it went just went crazy up there as well. Right about... Yeah, okay. So either too high a voltage or too high of a current. So 0 to 20 volts, through, 0 to 3.1 amps. I will make a new label and uh, call it good. So yeah, really nice having this new, uh, this new load. Something I can trust, too. Uh, you may have noticed uh, some unusual terminals on this thing. This was one of those power supplies that was only 
uh, the rear panel was the only way you could you could get um, you could get things out. And I reworked this to add my own my own front terminals to it. So uh, these were added on.